Well, Labor Day weekend is a great excuse to get outdoors one more time, but over the past year, a popular campground closed. A last minute surprise, though, saved some campers' holidays. Zach Tecklenburg has the story. You can still see some of the watermarks left behind from 2011 summer flooding, but finally, things are getting back to normal here at the Lewis and Clark State Park Campground. Mike Russell and Rhonda Stannert are in their happy place. We just had the best time here. Lewis and Clark State Park, the spot they always spend their summer. That is until June of last year when Missouri River flooding forced visitors out. But that all ended last Wednesday. Mike and Rhonda quickly heard the good news. So we come flying down here Thursday morning to see what sites was open. Then went back to town, pulled the trailer down, been here ever since. Some people have been checking in almost weekly throughout the summer, locals wanting to come and camp. As other parts of the park slowly opened, camping was saved for last. The whole campground was covered in water and mud, so getting back to this took a ton of work. A lot of um, scraping and digging and power washing that went on. Restoring power to the 70 campsites is one reason this was a year-long cleanup, and there's still more to do. We still have some sites that need a little bit of work um, as far as getting gravel in and planting some grass. <laughs> For the few who found out about the reopening, it's a relief. It's close to home and fishing's close by and it's nice. They're back to being one with nature at Lewis and Clark State Park. In Buchanan County, Zach Tecklenburg, 41 Action News. Well, you can camp year round at Lewis and Clark, but there are just two under, uh, just under two months left, that is, for full service camping. That ends on October 31st.